Hello guys! Today, birthday ng aking husband. And naisip namin na mag-dine-in dito sa Beijing. At pagdating sa food, I highly recommend this. Kaya pwede nyo pong subukan. And madalas din namin siya na natatimingan na maraming tao. So ngayon, dito kami magla-lunch. Actually, late din nagbubukas tong restaurant. Parang 10 or 11. And what I really like sa mga restaurants dito sa Canada in general, pagka talagang Japanese or Chinese, talagang mga ganong nationality yung magsuserve sa'yo. So it's really like very authentic. At marami din yung servings nila, kaya gusto rin namin dito. Actually, isa lang siya sa mga favorite namin na mga dim sum restaurants. And meron ding mangilan nila na Canadians na kumakain dito, nakasabayan namin currently that time. Pero of course, maraming Chinese and ang tagal ng servings. Siguro dahil nga ang daming tao ngayon, buti na lang nakakuha rin kami ng table agad. And kami naman kung ano yung order talaga sa takeout, yun din yung madalas na dinadine-in namin, walang kasawaan. And talking about age, that's what gonna be our topic for today. Ano nga ba ang best age to come to Canada? 20s? 30s? Or pwede pa ba ang 40s? As they say, immigration is easier before your 30s. Under Express Entry, there is a selection tool na ginagamit for the majority of Canada's economic immigration programs. And candidates receive their score based on their occupation, work experience, education level, language proficiency, and age. And mentioning Express Entry, this is Canada's main way of managing skilled worker applications for permanent residency through the three main economic class immigration programs, such as Federal Skilled Worker Program, Canadian Experience Class, and Federal Skilled Trades Program. Pero pag sinabi bang express entry, it means express talaga. But honestly, hindi lahat ng express ay madali. And nowadays, ang taas ng cut-off score for you to be included in the cut-off draw. But as an applicant, kung motivated ka talaga, you can strive to gain more work experience, boost your education credentials, and work in an eligible occupation and even increase your language score. So later on, we're gonna go deeper sa mga topics na yun. But there is one category na hindi natin mababago, which is our age. And age reduces the possible options for Canadian immigration. Katulad na lang dito sa express entry, when we reach the age 20 to 29 years old, we may get 100 points. Pero upon reaching the age of 30 to 39 years old, Every year, sa bawat birthday ay mababawasan tayo ng 5 points. And reaching the age of 40 to 44 years old, 10 points na kada taon ang mababawas sa ating age factor. And upon reaching the age of 45 years old, wala ng points na maibibigay sa atin. In addition, age points will also depend if you have a spouse or common law partner in the application. So, as we can see, nababawasan ng points pagka meron tayong asawa or common law partner sa application. Example sa age. So, pag may spouse, 100 points. Pero pagka walang spouse, 110 points. Sa level of education, 140 points. Pagka with spouse and without spouse, 150 points. Sa language naman, with spouse, it's gonna be 150. And without spouse, it's gonna be 160. And Canadian work experience, ito yung mga eligible jobs or qualified jobs para sa PR application. With spouse, it's gonna be 70 points. Without spouse, it's gonna be 80. Although age might affect your permanent residency application, 
It is also good to remember that it is not a determining factor. Hindi naman po pwedeng doon na lang magtapos yun. So, the solution, you will need to get extra points in order to compensate the lost points sa age factor. We have 5 ways to increase your permanent residency application in Canada. Number 1, improve your language test score. French will also give you additional points. And for your English test score, kung hindi ka satisfied, you can retake. I also understand kung hindi na natin talaga consider yung French language since hindi naman talaga natin language yun. So, i-check natin ang other four ways pa. Number two, have secondary education in Canada. And currently, dumadami po ang bilang ng international student para mag-aral ng one-year program or two years program. Ang kagandahan po ng student permit or student pathway is after graduation, you can apply for work permit of one year or three years. Depende sa program mo. Kung one-year program, one-year work permit. And pag two years program, three years work permit. And generally, mas marami ang pumipili ng two years program because of the three years postgraduate work permit na pwede nilang makuha. May mga eligibility requirements po ito at nakagawa na rin po tayo ng video about this. Just feel free to visit this video. And another good thing lang din sa pathway na ito ay mabilis po ang process. Pwede ka na agad makapunta sa Canada at may option ka pa na dalin ang buong pamilya. At malaki din ang posibilidad na libre ang aral ng mga minors covering elementary to high school as long as ma-meet natin ang requirements in order for them to be enrolled. Ganun pa man, medyo may kamahalan po ang student pathway since gagastos po tayo ng pang tuition fee. So ranging ng 15,000 Canadian to 20,000 Canadian per year depending on your chosen program. At sa aming case, ito rin po ang naging suse ng aming permanent residency here in Canada. So kung interested po kayo sa aming story, just feel free to visit ang aming playlist at marami po kayo may kitang videos doon about our journey here in Canada and even informative videos about immigration topics, student process, and life here in Canada. So having post-secondary education in Canada will give you extra points in your express entry profile or even give you a higher chance to be nominated sa province mo. And this leads us to our number three, which is obtain a provincial nomination. Under express entry, if you receive a nomination from the province, 600 points will be added to your CRS score and that happened to us guys. We just have a low score and because of provincial nomination, we were invited after 4 days and then we submitted our PR application and in just 2 months, we received the result and thankfully, we are permanent residents na po. We also have video about our provincial nomination and it will give you an idea what are the factors na namit namin in order for us to be nominated by the province, Alberta. So just feel free to visit that video. Number 4. Have a valid job offer. Applicants can receive a significant number of points for having a valid job offer from a Canadian employer. And there are pathways to PR na just a valid offer ay pwede na po kayong magdiretso sa PR application. And last, number five, gain qualified work experience inside Canada. So, these are work experience under tier 0, 1, 2, or 3 job categories. And pwede rin po ang combination ng one or more of these categories. The requirements under Express Entry Canadian Experience Class is to have at least one year of skilled work experience in Canada in the last three years before you apply. And meron siyang requirement of hours which is 1,560 hours. So may other requirements pa siya. Just visit canada.ca at may kita po ninyo doon ang patungkol sa Canadian Experience Class. 
In conclusion, age is not the only factor in which important points can be quickly gained. So we can work on getting extra points to compensate the lost points of age factor. At ngayon na alam na natin that age will not prevent us from completing our immigration process. But ito po ay importante, you must first analyze your profile and plan accordingly. I hope for the best for all of you guys. I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye for now.